Today I would like to talk with you about one of my favorite gaming reviewers on YouTube and also one of my favorite YouTubers overall. Because he replied on my message on Instagram. This video was brought to you by this bottle of a Chinese beer. Why Chinese you may ask? Because without it I'm not really confident on camera. Okay. Ranton, aka Shaolin Warrior Monk, aka Rantoni Pepperoni, aka a Chinese guy that was born in Germany and speaks all the languages in the world. No, da, все понятно. Or just Anton. By the way, he's German, but his name is kind of Russian. It's strange. So he's making a game reviews that are a bit different from other reviewers. Hello. Today I am reviewing Mortal Kombat 11. The feedback so far is great. Is that a shit on the fucking floor? Do you shit on this fucking floor? And <laughs> the first part will be about Ranton's YouTube journey, the obstacles and the success, how he achieved it. Suck my Donald dick! The second part will be about the effort that he puts in his editing, because I think that this is really important. And the third part will be about the system of how he review games. That's my opinion and there's nothing you can do about it. In the end I will try to explain how and why Renton's channel finally got the exposure that he deserves. I'm not surprised, motherfuckers! When I read the comments on his oldest videos, I can see that a lot of people are writing the same thing. This channel deserves 1 billion subs. This channel deserves 1 million subs. This channel deserves. That was the mistake of YouTube algorithm. <laughs> and finally, I'm glad to see that Renton's channel is steadily going up. I guess I'm not the only person who found Renton's channel not from the gaming videos. It was something about Shaolin. Some of these titles. And we will talk about this a little bit later. So Renton started his YouTube journey back in September 2016. <laughs> and his channel was called The Anton and Arthur's Show. And it seems that that wasn't working, because Renton said that he was making videos by himself, he was editing by himself and basically doing everything by himself. After a year of making videos, he decided that he will do a rebranding and he named his channel Renton. A lot is gonna change. Now I'm gonna change the name of the channel and the, the logo, the style. Because when we started the channel, Arthur and me, we actually wanted to do this thing together, but then as it turned out, he never had time. I basically did this whole channel by myself. So Renton had 200 subscribers in January 2017. Eight months later, in September 2017, he already had 500. So it's like only 300 in 8 months. That's kind of hard if you're making videos every week. And then one month later, in October 2017, he made a video about Shadow of Mordor. And in the comments I saw that he was still under 1000 subscribers. In December of 2017, he made his first video about his life in Shaolin Temple. A year later, he made another video about Shaolin. Kinda about Shaolin. It was a reaction on For Honor DLC. After that video, he had around 300,000 subscribers, I guess. Steadily, his channel started to grow. And recently, in September 2019, he published one more video about the BBC Shaolin documentary. And that's the second biggest spike that we saw on his channel. Thanks for connecting me, man! 
At some point I saw that Renton wasn't really happy with his results and the engagement from his videos and he almost wanted to quit YouTube. Thank God that he didn't. He was putting a lot of effort in his editing and scripting, much more than other game review channels, to quote him. Almost every video that he was making was like a writing a stand-up gig. And the possibilities are near endless. I really cannot imagine how hard it is to put so much effort in his videos and see no results. And then he decided to make his video about Shaolin Temple. The fact that this video went viral and after that his channel started to grow consistently his channel started to grow consistently explains that people are more interested in characters than in the content itself. So actual Shaolin monks played Mortal Kombat X with me. What have you done? So what am I trying to say? You want to make one thing, but your character is what the people want. They want the Shaolin monk. He found a great place. He's making what he loves. He's making gaming reviews. But he keeps his channel growing by his Shaolin videos. But the most important part that I didn't mention yet, after watching the Shaolin video, a lot of people stayed and they watched the whole channel and they subscribe. Not only Shaolin videos are good on his channel. And by this day, Ranton makes one of the most complicated game reviews on the whole website of YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Another remake has been released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete global saturation. I don't even want to say that. Perfect. That's where I want to get to the second part. His editing, his effort that he puts in every video and the ambition. So Jax Films made a video about best YouTubers of the year 2019, I guess. And he put Renton as the best game reviewer who isn't Donkey. Here's what he said. The award for best video game reviewer that isn't Donkey, Renton. Now this is another recommendation from you guys that I had never heard of and it took me all of 30 seconds to subscribe. Ranton reviews video games with hyper edited and very meme savvy videos. Their visual treats, even at over 10 minutes long, they never ever lose this chaotic energy throughout. I admittedly was not ready when I first saw his review for the game The Sinking City. Just give that one a watch and tell me you're not hooked within the first 60 seconds. So when I made my first video on YouTube, I tried to make it a lot like Renton's video, with a lot of memes and a lot of editing jokes and all that stuff. I almost died, literally. I went to the hospital a week after. I was feeling so bad and they said that it was just stress and I was like, F*** you, I'm a YouTuber now. <laughs> His humor is borderline edgy and I like it a lot. And especially that he is not afraid to make fun of himself. Actually, he's doing this all the time. And, and they say I'm not a serious reviewer? <sighs> I watched all of his podcast episodes. And when they had the guest Caesar from Ubisoft, that was really cool. That was even better when I saw Joe Rogan's podcast with the Doom Creator. The amount of memes, jokes, very hard editing tricks per minute is so overwhelming that you cannot just stop watching it. How to put it? I am unimpressed putting this game to the test. I'm not to digest. You're crying, bitches like me. Shit. The part three. Renton's reviews. Are they actually good? If you watch Rantoni, you know the 7 out of 10 meme, right? <laughs> That's the forbidden number. 6, too bad. 8, it's very good. And 7 is always there. It's always... So he has three main points when he's ranking a game. What this game is about. What should you do? Third one is, is it fun? I think that this ranking system is actually really interesting because we are already so tired of this bullshit like graphics, 
gameplay and your mom's ass. On his podcasts, Ranton always reminds you that his reviews are just his opinion. My reviews aren't objective, they're not supposed to be. They're about what I like and what I don't like. Giving an all, amazing. Receiving an all, hodge. He's not trying to popularize it or make sure that no one will hate him. I don't really care by the end of the video. <coughs> oh, blood. By the end of the video, I don't really care which score will the game get because it was too much fun. All of his viewers, including me, they are watching his videos as a comedy gig, not as a game review. I'm sorry, Ranton, but it's true. You're making some sort of a stand-up special. The ranking in the end is just one more thing that you can joke about. My final rating for Death Stranding is a very strong and excellent 9 out of 10. But this approach made him to start his YouTube channel because he didn't like other reviewers. He wanted to make it by himself. Even in his latest videos he is saying Ugh, Even in his latest videos he is saying that the game reviewers are corrupted and I think he is actually right. And I just fucking love how a lot of other reviews out there are blind to these issues. Oh wow, very good. This is amazing, guys. Suck up, please go back. You can't cross that imitate. Let me sum up everything and I will try to explain why I think that Renton is one of the best game reviewers on YouTube. First of all, he is not looking for an easy way to make a video about a game. He went above and beyond from the average review channels in terms of editing, in terms of scripting, in terms of filming. Playing the game like yeah, but the story is more like blah. I cannot imagine how he handled when he made all of those videos and didn't have any response. Instead of making his review videos easier, lowering the bar, he made it even higher. And his latest reviews are just crazy and they are very good. I really doubt that there will be any other game review channel that will supersede him in terms of editing or comedy. So thanks Ranton for creating such an amazing content and thank you for replying to that Instagram message that was the last push for me to finally overcome the fear and start recording this video. So I am endlessly grateful. This whole story about Ranton's channel inspires me that you should never compromise on the quality of the content that you are doing. You have to keep going and eventually the results will come. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one! Mm -hmm.